Anthony Bourdain does not plan on testing out Donald Trump's new restaurant in D.C. Uh, in fact, he has some pretty strong words for Donald Trump. Now, for those of you who don't know who Anthony Bourdain is, uh, he started out as a chef, uh, and then he signed on for a show for the Travel Channel called No Reservations, and it was wildly popular. So he uh, got a show on CNN, which was pretty similar to No Reservations. I forget what the name of the CNN show it's is. It's like the Parts Unknown. Parts is that Unknown. what it's called? Yes. It's just like another randomly he's a, he's taken a... travel term. Yeah, I mean, I like to criticize every other uh, host, but he's quite good. He's so good. Yeah, okay, yeah. so I've had, like, a long love affair for for uh, Anthony Bourdain. He's amazing. And this makes me love him more. Not literally. Like, I don't know him Unre personally. Oh, la, la. <laughs> Ooh, la, la. But, um, but anyway, so here's what he has to say about Trump's restaurant in D.C. Is he Cuban? No, no. <laughs> He's French. Um, he says, I will never eat in his restaurant. I have utter contempt for him. Utter and complete contempt. <laughs> He also says, the man eats his steak well done. I don't think he's a good person. So right. So <laughs> That's right. That's the kind of thing that Ben would say. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, whenever uh, Trump offends entire races, ethnicities, nationalities, uh, the right wing go, ah, you politically correct people are always getting offended, man. Just give it a, lot, or give it a rest, all right? But whenever there's any kind of celebrity who tweaks Trump, yeah. they always get so upset. I know, I They're know. They're like, oh, my, how could he say that he's got utter <laughs> contempt for the person who's going to be president of the United States? You guys didn't have contempt for the current president it's of the United like States? They might be triggered, too. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? Um, so I like anyone who's got the guts to just call it like it is and go, hey, man, I don't like the guy. What are you going to do, make me like him? I have contempt for him. Take it and do whatever you want with it, but that's that's the reality. You know, Anthony Bourdain did an episode for No Reservations where he had like barbecue with Ted Nugent, and they disagreed with one another politically. Um, and I hate Ted Nugent, right? So it was kind of difficult to watch him, but he was uh, like, to stomach it, it was very difficult to stomach it. Um, it was a very shitty episode. No, it wasn't. It was actually very good. Um, but it was it was interesting to see him, you know, talk to Ted Nugent and be like civil and respectful while they completely disagreed on things from a political standpoint. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing that up is Anthony Bourdain is not like a staunch leftist who's like against anyone who's on the right wing. Um, he's just a reasonable person and he sees Donald Trump and realizes, yeah, no, I'm not going to go to his restaurant. I'm not going to do reviews of it. I'm not going to give him any positive attention. There's no way. A after Nugent ate the meal, did he crap himself? Probably. <laughs> okay. Probably. Because uh, yeah. that's his go-to move. Yeah. Um, I love that we mentioned that in every single episode that, <laughs> yeah. that he's in. Uh, that's how he got out of Vietnam, because he's a coward. Mm -hmm. um, okay. But that's according to who? Him. Oh, okay. Oops. Uh, <laughs> decades later, he tried to retract it. He's like, oh, did I say that I crapped myself to get out of Vietnam? Why and then I... kept the pants on for days and days, right? Days and days yeah. so that he would seem mental, which, you know, to be fair to him, he is a little mental. Yeah. So he, uh, I think he wrote it. Yeah. Right. And then, oh, uh, yeah, did I say that? Yeah, 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 I know. That's what you're trying to make up with for it, with carrying all those stupid guns. Okay. Anyway, back to Bourdain. Uh, what would I do, right? So like, there's these uh, thought police on the right. Who say you got to get? You have to give him a chance. You have to like him. Mm -hmm. You have to like him before he gets into office. You're being unfair if you don't. No, I don't have to like him. Anthony Bourdain doesn't have to like him. Mm -hmm. We already know what he stands for. He ran for two years on what he stands for. He already insulted everybody there is. Why don't we get to insult him? Of course we do. We, we don't have to like anyone. Now that doesn't mean that in our coverage, if he's right on something, then we're not going to give him credit for it. I gave him partial credit for the carrier deal that he did. I'm so far very happy that he's not going to do TPP. Wait till he changes his mind on that after they bribe him. Okay, but for now, I'll give him all the credit in the world. I'm super happy he's not doing TPP. I don't have to like him. I agree with Bourdain. I have utter contempt for him as a human being. Um, yes. You know who I like? I really like Anthony Bourdain, and I want to give myself credit for that. In fact, um, <laughs> you, you, you know what? Is that okay? Is that okay with you if you do that? You know Hold what? On. Is it okay if you give you credit? We will give you credit. Okay. You have now received but, credit. But for I don't it. want you to give me credit until you see evidence. Okay. 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 Video from seven years ago mm. on TYT where I talked about Anthony Bourdain and made you super uncomfortable. Right. Take wow, the vault. Mm -hmm. Anthony Bourdain has a television show on the Travel Channel. Oh God. Where he Are these all going to be Travel Channel guests? <laughs> this show. <laughs> what is this? No, no, don't even start with me. First of all, Anthony Bourdain is super sexy. 
He's super liberal, very much into politics, uh, always finds ways to express his political opinions. <laughs> no, 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 he's super I'm hot. so surprised you have not slept with your professor yet. <laughs> no, Anthony Bourdain is very hot. He's an older gentleman, but he's hot. All he's right. very hot. Yeah. I'd definitely give him a little spanky spanky. Okay, all right, okay, all right. <laughs> That's wow. what you want to get credit for? Yeah. <laughs> what was that first we headshot? Had... was like, hi, I'm Anthony Bourdain. Do you have any reservations? <laughs> well, they, she was 53 then, the older gentleman. He was 53 back then? Yeah. yeah. So hot. Uh, yeah. Um, Apparently uh, you have no reservations about Anthony Ward. The whatsoever. good news is, is that it appears in the uh, seven years, uh, the uh, last seven years here at TYT, we've learned to spell Anthony Bourdain. That's the good news. Was oh, was that, I thought that was misspelled. It's was, misspelled there. Yeah. Okay. Left the year. <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. Yeah. We couldn't um, figure out HD and we couldn't figure out how to spell. <laughs> yeah. That was, uh, that was when I surprised you with my top ten hottest guys list because mm. you kept doing top ten hottest women list. Oh, that's yeah. an excellent thing. So I, I would love, I mean, uh, uh, TYT Vault, uh, uh, I would love to see that whole list. Animals are innocent. TYTnetwork.com slash join.